telling you. That's... Well? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh! Oh? Well... Goodness. What do you think?
careful. This is...
one who hired me as a mascot, right? Thank you so much. Huh? So, he's not your dad? Don't be silly, Mirai. I'm a fictional character. I live in a different dimension from the doctor. Though, it is true he's the one who brought me into this world. <laughs> Since when did you ever laugh like that? Ladies and gentlemen, and especially you, Mamaru. Hope you all enjoyed my little surprise. I made Show and Mirai's AI based on the data for the Extend TV show you made. I didn't write their scripts, you know. They think of their own lines and talk in real time. It's thanks to Mamaru that we came to be. Okay, then. I'll have to express my gratitude. I'm only going to say this once. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Looks like his vocabulary still needs some adjustment. By the way, I'm modeled after my 3D scans. Better than a prosthetic hand showing up on screen, no? Anyway, what's the purpose of Sheen Extend TV, Doc? Well, I was bull. I mean, my goal is to explain my new humanity restoration mission to everyone. Did you just say mission? Feels like I haven't heard that in a while. The new humanity restoration mission is an experiment toward a new future and new humans. Mirai doesn't know too much about it either, but it sounds like this is a very dangerous mission. Something horrible will happen if you fail. Even worse than something really embarrassing happening to Mirai? What? Don't bring me into this. Truth is, I distanced myself from Sachika because I didn't want to put everyone in danger. Even though I told you all to follow me if you want to help, I'd actually prefer if you didn't. But since you all did end up coming here, he wants to explain the new humanity restoration mission. So you'll go home without interfering. So that's why it started so suddenly? I wish you gave me more time to prepare. Can you call me in for upcoming meetings from now on? I'd like to discuss actors' pubic images. Images. No one's discussing pubic hair in a meeting. Anyway, I just wanted to introduce myself this time, so let's end this here for now. I'll ask you all once more. It's dangerous beyond this point, so stop following me, okay? Wherever you go, I hope you pray for the success of the new humanity restoration mission. Okay, then. Remember, kids. Illuminate! A new future! For humanity! Bye-bye and bye-bye! Right. Yes. My, my. I'm sorry. That's... Isn't that right? <laughs> Sachi... Really? So... Hey. Let's do this! Let's go!
this be? I'm going to activate. There's something here. Stay away. Don't make me pull out all your butt hairs. Yep. I'm sorry. Please, not my butt hairs. So this is where the end of the world began, huh? It's surprising that the facility is still intact. But you were also at the lab during that time, weren't you? How did you survive? The original Daichi Terashima certainly died that day. He prepared a special X key that would activate my consciousness once he died for any given reason. The current me is a backup that the original stored within this very X key. You backed yourself up on an X key? So then you're a human clone too? Yep, but I do look like this in real life, so... Guess you could say I'm more like a claw crane than a clone. <laughs> There's an X key on the back of his hand that controls the prosthetic arm. What? That's not an antenna. I totally thought it was a remote control. Isn't it amazing? It comes equipped with all sorts of sensors, and he can even speak through his mic. There are a lot of people that would love to kill me, so I made a backup of myself as insurance. Oh, I get it. Better safe than money, am I right? I think you mean better safe than sorry. Now, when was the last time I took a backup? Maybe when I collected samples from Clone Sachika? Yeah, just seven days before the Day of Reckoning. So I actually have no idea what happened on that day. But I've pretty much put the pieces together with Mamaru's story now that I've come back on site. But why didn't you just extend yourself? must be inconvenient in that Adam's family body. Because I wanted to surprise Mamaru and the Grosh kids, of course. Since the Day of Reckoning, I've been observing Mamaru as a prosthetic arm, watching him plot his revenge, building these ruins, and spending his time editing Extend TV. Wow, this is just as embarrassing as someone looking through your old diaries. Adorned in Snow White wool, Princess Mirai awakens every 1,000 years. How embarrassing. No! Why do you have Mirai's diary? 
And there's a reason I didn't, or rather couldn't, extend myself. There was no extend machine compatible with my special X key. See, I didn't expect the world to end like this, so I didn't think to modify the extend machine. So that's why you couldn't extend? That was careless of you, Doctor. So he's been tagging along on the adventure this whole time as Sachika's right arm. He finally decided to part ways for the sake of the new humanity restoration mission. But weren't you able to control Sachika's body? Why didn't you stay with them the whole time? Family should stay together, even when they take a bath. My dad was really nice when we took baths. He even held my head underwater while I counted to 10. So we're back to that scumbag dad thing, huh? <laughs> well, I think I've been a kind parent. In fact, I rarely took over her body. It took effort and stressed out her brain. And like I said, I didn't want to put you all in danger. Gee. You sure are cool, Doctor. A real gentleman. That's wonderful, Doctor. We'll be by your side until the very end. All right, that's it for today. Remember, kids... Illuminate! A new future! For homonoidia, homonadai, homonadai, homonadani, homonana, homo sapiens sapiens. Bye-bye and bye-bye. <laughs>